Hey everybody, how's it going? Tim Eister here and welcome back to the Duelopolis of Bixton and Auburn. In today's episode, I'm going to be focusing my attention to Auburn as in the last episode of Bixton, I completely revamped downtown. It doesn't look the same at all. If you're just getting caught up now, uh, you'll notice that there has been a uh, dramatic upgrading of downtown Auburn. And I'm going to be working now on the outskirts of downtown, I guess uptown, we'll call it. So right now there's quite a stark transition from all these big skyscrapers to bang, single family homes just across the street. Not very realistic. So I'm going to be working on upzoning all of the surrounding areas around downtown to create a little bit of a smoother transition from, you know, the central business district off into, uh, you know, the more suburban areas. Mm -hmm. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the idea for this episode is I'm going to upzone everything into medium density row housing with, you know, a few medium density apartment buildings dotted in between. So let's start, I guess, right over here, right at the very edge of downtown. And let's get to rezoning. And I'm actually, you know what, I'm not going to rezone every single little house. I do like some of these uh, smaller single family homes. You know, some of these look quite historic, I would say, that, you know, would uh, would be found near downtown. So I don't want to rezone absolutely everything. I'm just going to be careful here. Um, hmm, I wonder why these houses aren't getting auto demolished. I made sure that... Anarchy wasn't enabled. I might have to demolish all these houses manually, guys. It's looking like that. Uh, but I guess it's not a big deal, you know? It'll force me to, uh, to go over all of these areas individually, make sure I'm not missing any spots. But it is going to be tedious if I have to demolish all of these homes because I was kind of looking forward to working on some other things while these neighborhoods are being redeveloped. Uh, but it's okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the fill tool and I'm just going to rummage through all of these neighborhoods. But uh, yeah, I mean, anarchy is off. So it should be redeveloping all these areas. But I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. There, so this is going to become all row houses. And I think I'll go over the area one more time. And, uh, and I'll build some higher density apartment buildings too. Ooh, the game's getting laggy now <laughs> as I'm highlighting all these buildings. There. Now let's do the final batch over here for this neighborhood. And you know, I'm gonna leave a couple of single family homes, you know. It makes sense to have a couple dotted in between the buildings. It'll just create a bit more variety. And now what I'm going to do is select the marquee tool and go around and plop some zones for some apartment buildings, medium density apartment buildings. And like I said, this is just to provide a bit more diversity to, uh, to this neighborhood, you know, it'll just break up the monotony of endless row houses while providing some additional housing as well. And you know what? I'm going to be a responsible urban planner and I'm going to go as far as plopping a couple of uh, low rent housing zones too. To provide some nice affordable housing for the residents of the area. There, that should do it. So... There we go, we got the whole neighborhood being redeveloped. 
Barely making a dent in the demand, which is good. I was hopeful that that was going to be the case for this episode. Otherwise, it would have been cut short, but looks like we're all good. Um, so, of course, I don't want to go too far out. I don't want to, like, rezone this entire city, right? So, I think I'm going to make a, a sort of bubble around downtown. Just to create a nice smooth transition from all these single-family homes that are not too far from downtown up to downtown so let's get to uh let's get to this neighborhood over here i think i'm going to make like this this little uh dual street here the demark zone for all of these uh these row houses i think that should be far enough There, so I'm going to follow the exact same pattern or the exact same process, I should say, as uh, what we just did. So I'm just going to blanket cover everything with row houses and then go and delete all of these homes. These poor people, guys. Oh, my God. They're just getting jostled around. One minute they're living in a nice home near downtown and then the next minute their home just disappears and gets replaced by endless row houses oh i just destroyed a bus stop is that what that was oh that was a bus stop guys that's not good i didn't know i could destroy bus stops by by doing that okay here let's re-add this stop then can i do that yes Boop. there we go all right well i'll have to be careful i don't know did i delete any more uh, let's see here if I go into zones or not zones, but uh, bulldozer I think I'm good Hopefully there are no bus stops over here. I don't know <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, well, there's no there's no line that goes here So I think I might be good, but that reminds me guys. I'm gonna have to add Some bus stops over in this neighborhood. It's it's pretty blank. Uh, okay, so let's keep going. I'm going to work on this block. I guess I'm just going to do block by block to avoid demolishing anything that I don't want to demolish. There, and then this strip over here. There we go. Did I rezone this? I think so. And then I'm going to select my marquee tool and let's go throughout this neighborhood. Replace some of these zones with some higher density apartment buildings. You know, dotted throughout, just like this. And again, as a responsible urban planner, I'm gonna plop down a few affordable housing units. Get a nice mixture of everything in here. And I'm gonna leave some of these houses, I think. You know, we're gonna make a nice transition between single family homes and row houses. You know, we, I guess we don't really want a, like a, a, an abrupt change. I'll make it more of like a smooth transition. You know, I'll leave some of these houses. Maybe not this one, because this guy's complaining of high rent. There, we'll fix that problem real quick. Actually, you know what? These are some really nice lots and they're not complaining of everything. I'm gonna leave these guys be. Look at that. Look at these wonderful homes, guys. These level five homes with 10 people living in them. Oh my god, five teenagers living in a house. Wow, that's crazy. You know, four people is a bit more realistic. I guess this could be a frat house, right? Frat house with two adults? Sure. I'm gonna keep these nicer homes, I think. Yeah, and like all of these are nice. Oh crap, I think. Uh, it's fine. There, I think that'll create a nice transition. All right, and uh, last but not least, before moving on to other things, I'm gonna work on this neighborhood over here. 
And I think that will pretty much do it as far as rezoning for this episode, because it looks like my demand is uh, taking quite a hit. So we're not going to be able to endlessly expand forever. There, yeah, these houses got to go. They're, they're very, uh, there's a lot of repetition going on in this neighborhood. So let's, oh crap, I didn't rezone this. There we go. Let's do uh, some bigger apartment buildings, a couple of low rent units. There we go, just like that. And oh, what do we got here? Oh, it's uh, petrol stations. Very nice. Oh my god, guys. I don't know how well you can hear that because I always lower the in-game volume when I'm making these videos, but I think it is this early disaster warning system. It is so loud. Like, you can hear it from, like, a mile radius. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So anytime I'm working in this area, it's... It's a bit of, annoying, uh, of an annoyance. Um, but it's... It's all right. There. All right. Well, there we go, guys. So I'm going to leave this be for uh, for the next little bit. Wow. Did I line these buildings up? Yeah, a little bit too much. I think so. Here. Let's, uh, let's rezone some of these lots yet again just to get some, some additional buildings in here. But yeah, there we go. That is definitely going to create a nicer transition between downtown and the rest of the city. So uh, I guess that'll be enough rezoning for now. There's a couple of other things that I wanted to work on this episode. One of which is uh, this interchange over here. And just because I'm recording this now, it seems to be behaving itself. But I swear, this interchange is constantly a mess, guys. Like. It's not uncommon for traffic to get backed up like all the way here, just filled with people trying to get into the city. So I'm going to be upgrading this interchange for the next little bit in this episode, which is why I didn't rezone this strip of houses here because uh, they're probably going to get the boot as uh, I'm going to rebuild this interchange. So right now, the biggest problem is we have three lanes um, and most of the traffic coming along this bridge wants to uh, go into downtown Auburn, right? Because, I mean, obviously there's a lot of businesses and, and jobs. So uh, we only have a one lane exit coming through here. So let's start by doubling this off ramp. And uh, actually before doing so, I'm going to upgrade this three lane road. And then I will upgrade this. Hmm. I'm going to pause the game real quick because it looks like I'm going to have to, uh, to reconfigure this road a little bit. Yeah, this is not going not gonna to behave, I think. So I'm going to remove these two segments. And then I'm going to take this two-lane segment, connect it up smooth as I can, and then this one lane. Now traffic coming out of downtown is not much of a problem, usually. Actually, hang on, let's, let's redo this. Yeah, I think if I bring it out farther a little bit, that should fix it. Rotate this around. Please excuse the ghosting, guys. I never really got around to fixing that. I, I, I thought somebody had commented on one of my videos explaining how to fix this issue, and I spent like an hour trying to find that comment, and I can't find it. So if anyone has any um, insight into getting rid of like this weird ghosting when plopping roads, and like I think when some of the traffic goes by, you can kind of see it. Yeah, like. 
the traffic goes by like really quick like this brown car you can kind of see a little trail behind it it's more obvious with like yellow and white cars i think but anyways if anybody has any insight into that please let me know because i would like to fix it uh okay so i think this should help out with this issue oh actually wait before going any further i gotta downgrade this into a two-lane road make things a bit less weird and I'm gonna work on this side of this interchange which isn't much of a problem but what is a problem too is this street here Pine Street gets plugged all the way up to like here sometimes actually I gotta check okay it's it's technically 1 a.m. I think that's why we're not seeing a ton of traffic here uh, but during most of the day this is always a problem. It's just always traffic all the time. Uh, so maybe before the next rush hour, we can fix this <laughs> without disrupting traffic too much. Uh, okay, so actually, you know, what I'm going to do is continue this four lane segment right up to the interchange. This is now going to become a two lane. All right, I'm going to pause the game here while I try to figure my stuff out. But I'm going to delete this ramp. Actually, you know, I'm going to delete this entire road because I want to completely revamp this interchange. And uh, actually, I was I was about to explain to you guys what was going on here. So as I mentioned, Pine Street gets backed up like really bad, and my idea is I want to have like a little spur highway that goes off into this direction and then intersects with Pine Street over here. So then rather than drivers having to like, you know, drive through a busy street all the way to downtown, there's gonna be a bit of a shortcut that uh, will carry that traffic here. So I think it should alleviate some of this traffic.
All right, guys, this is the interchange, the final product. Uh, this is as far as I'm going to get, though, for this moment. Um, I'm going to work on this segment a little later on, once we're ready to expand. Um, but anyway, I think this interchange will be a little bit more future-proof than what we had before. It also looks a little bit better, I find. Um, I don't think it's my best work, per se, but I think it'll do the job just fine as the city scales. So what I want to work on now is something that's been on my mind for quite some time here. Now, evidently, I am making money head over heels. Like, I am just making so much money right now. It is unreal. There's like no element of challenge anymore to Bixton. So there's no reason why a city making this much money doesn't have enough school capacity for its population. So for the remainder of this episode, I want to focus on at least getting my education up to par, getting enough capacity for the entire city. Um, as far as everything else, hospitals looks fine. Uh, garbage processing looks okay. You know, I'm, I'm processing more garbage than, uh, well, I don't have any landfills, but I'm processing enough garbage to not need any landfills. Uh, so anyways, everything else in the city looks good so far except education. So I'm going to focus on that for the remainder of this episode. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to start with the notorious elementary schools because uh, you can never have enough of them. So for elementary schools, there's a few areas in town that could use some. I have like a bunch just dotted around the map, but I'm going to maybe have to make like these elementary school complexes with multiple schools in the same area, perhaps. Uh, but for starters, I'm going to go ahead and plop one right over here because this area needs one. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to scooch this over a little bit. To this corner, if I can get it to fit. Uh, oops. Oh, crap. There, I think here should be good, and that should give me enough room for a park. But I don't think we'll be able to fit anything more than a park over here, but that's fine. So I'll plop down my expansion, and instantly the school is just filled up with students, so <laughs> I'm not very surprised. Uh, where else? Where else? How much capacity do we need to get here? So <laughs> we have 27,000 capacity, and we need 43,000 students. Yeah, so even though our coverage is good, we're we're very much lacking in capacity. So this area over here could use a school, I think. I'm going to have to demolish a whole neighborhood, it looks like. But you know what? It's all in the name of progress. Oh, it looks like I don't have enough room for a playground. Uh, but that's fine. Just an expansion is good. So each school... Only has 1,500, so we're going to have to plop away here, guys, for uh, for quite some time. I'm going to put another school over here as well. I don't think we'll be able to fit any uh, extra school amenities over here either, uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to plop it here. And uh, maybe I'll get rid of these random zones here. We'll just clear this up. there and just detail this area a little bit there I mean not really detailing just plopping down a couple trees but it'll look nicer than just random grass uh, okay so we got three extra schools now we're probably gonna need about 10 more I'm still shy of about 13,000 capacity uh, so where else Oh my god, I don't even have any elementary schools in this area over here, and I got tons of room under these power lines. So let's go ahead and plop this here. Oh shoot, I didn't really look at the terrain, but that's fine. So I'm going to plop a playground right near these power lines. Not the safest thing in the world, but you know what? It's totally fine. And then I'm going to fully upgrade this school. And then in behind here, I'll provide some road access to the back of the building. There we go. 
Very nice, very nice. So we're almost there. Uh, let's see, where else do we have a bit of a gap? This is just a big industrial zone. I don't necessarily need one over here. Maybe another one here in Auburn wouldn't hurt. Yeah, like right over here. I think I can fit the school. Can I fit a playground? Not quite, but I think if I move this over ever so slightly to the very edge of this lot, I can now fit a playground. And fully expand the school as well. Where else? We got a ton of schools over here now. We got one. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even expand this school. There we go. That'll help us out. Over here in uh, Sunnyside. Uh, where else? Where else? Where else? I'm just at the cusp of being good for capacity. I'm going to plop another one over here in Quincy Harbor. Uh, what about right over here, guys? That looks good. Anyways, I didn't want to bore you guys with me just plopping down dozens and dozens of elementary schools, so I just skipped ahead. Alright guys, here we are. So after placing, I don't even know how many elementary schools, we're finally at capacity. And only just. So as I continue to grow the city and build new neighborhoods, I'm going to have to be very mindful to provide enough elementary schools. High schools were okay for now, uh, but same thing. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on uh, the number of students, uh, the student capacity. Now, I would like to focus my attention to college and university. So uh, as you can see, university we could probably get away with plopping one more campus and then we'll be good. Uh, but colleges, we're gonna need a few dotted around the map. But, I don't know, I like to build nice campuses around town. I don't want to throw just a bunch of college campuses all over and, and call it a day. Uh, so that is why I'm going to focus on this parcel of land over here near downtown Auburn. And I'm going to build a nice university slash uh, college campus. So there's going to be both buildings in this area because they look relatively similar to one another. So uh, we're going to do that. So first, I'm going to build out the road layout for this new campus. And I was kind of thinking when I was looking at this project, uh, I need to provide some better access to the highway because right now there's only a couple of entrances and exits, you know, dotted around uh, like particularly along these two roads here uh, and not so much over here that's fine though um, so what I'll do is I'm just gonna build a shortcut from one side um, to the other of this highway so let's raise this up you know I might have to use move it here but let's see what we can do if I raise this up to just five meters here, I'm gonna do anarchy, <laughs> make it simple. And the thing I really like about anarchy is uh, we no longer have to abide by that maximum or well, minimum 10 meter height restriction to build an overpass. And uh, just like that, we can build a, uh, a lowered overpass over this highway here. There, so that works. And let's connect it all up just like this. So now traffic that uh, may be going from the college campus, they can simply cross over into this area and then, you know, get on the highway or go wherever they want. Just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, okay, so let's start off with a university, I guess, just because of how epic these campuses look. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to line this up like I would have liked. Um, let's see here. Maybe if I demolish this road and then line it up with this road going to our forensic center. Uh, what is this anyway? Central Intelligence Bureau. That's right. 
There, am I gonna be able to line this up a little better? Close. Uh, but I'm gonna have to scooch my road over just a bit. So I'm gonna demolish this. I am going to build my campus, uh, I guess right here. I'm gonna try to leave myself enough room. Uh, actually, you know what, I got plenty of room. I'm gonna scooch it over just a little bit in this direction. I'd say that's pretty lined up. Not perfect, but it's all right. You know, cities aren't perfect, you know. Oh shoot, do I actually have to have like a road connection? Looks like I do. Um, okay, well, let's, uh, let's do this, I suppose. We'll just have a sharp curve. I guess it's not the end of the world. And then maybe what I could do is like, provide a little shortcut. There. Just because, well, why not? There, so the university campus, we have a couple of upgrades that we can do. So let's start by adding an extension wing just so we future-proof the campus. Uh, you know what? Money's no object right now in the city. Uh, so let's go ahead and plop a library, I guess. I'll just put it right over here. It would look pretty cool. And then I'm going to put a university park. I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to somehow integrate the college campus into all of this. So I think it's time that we buy a little bit of land here. So I'm going to purchase these tiles, giving us way more room. And then this main divided avenue is going to continue in this direction, just in a straight line, keep it simple. And now let's plop a college. Let's see what we can do here with our college. I think maybe if I put it Oh, you know what would look cool is if I put it like over here, maybe. So let's try to line this up. Actually, let me plop it. How good is that? Is that, it's not perfect. I don't know how I can line this up perfectly. Uh, let's see here. I think I got to rotate it just a little bit. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a job for move it, guys. I'm gonna use move it here just to scooch it over just a tad. There. I think that's lined up. Oh, but you know what? There's only one entrance, oddly enough, into this green space. Look at that, there's like a big hedge that goes all around. That's kind of not very well planned out, but we'll let it slide. And then actually, you know what? I'm going to make another sort of grandiose entrance on this side of the campus as well. So I'm gonna string a road, large road going in this direction, and then I'll have a one way kind of looping in like this. There, that looks pretty cool. Not enough electricity. Uh oh, am I like maxed out here? No, there's plenty of power to go around. I think it's just plopping roads and stuff. It kind of freaked out a little bit. Uh, okay, so now what I'll do is build a couple of small roads that will kind of just loop around the campus to uh, make it seem like it's all interconnected. I'm gonna remove these traffic lights. These as well. Okay, we don't need traffic lights all along here. Perfect.
There, so this is the campus. Oh, actually, no, I'm not done yet. Uh, let's plop an extension wing and then a college library. And I guess I don't really have much choice where to put it, so I'm gonna put it over here, there. All right, so that's a good start for the campus. You know, it looks very uh, university-esque so far. Uh, but th is there anything else that I could put? I guess I could put another, maybe a high school actually. Why not just put every educational building? They all look quite similar to one another, so they uh, they all would all fit nicely into a campus. So here, let's do this. Is that gonna leave me with enough room, is it? No, not nearly enough. Okay, uh, I'm gonna demolish this road. What I'll do here in this case is I'll just plop the high school and then I'll build the road adjacent to it. There. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool, guys. I'm impressed. So let's do an extension wing, school library, and oh no, it's too bad I can't fit the track and field. Oh, that would have been so cool. The only way to get it to fit is if I scooch the high school back. Oh, that would have fit in so cool. That's too bad. I'm just trying to think. How can I get this to fit? Because it would look so awesome. But it would cause... It would cause some other problems. Because then there would be like a big gap between the high school and this. So, uh, I think it's fine. Uh, let's see here. What kind of parks could I maybe put in between all of this? You know, we got an American football field, of course. Very important. Here, let's get one of these in here. Build a big old parking lot. Oh, not too big because I still want the stadium to fit. Here, let's do a series of smaller lots. And. Uh, I think I went a little too much here. Actually, hang on guys, I'm gonna do the uh, the track and field. I'll be right back. Okay guys, here it is. I plop the high school. Let's place an extension wing and uh, another library. And here we go. I'm gonna plop the track and field. And I'm gonna use move it here just to... Oh, oh okay. I kinda screwed up there for a sec. I'm just gonna rotate this a little tiny bit just to get it to fit better. And actually, let me shove it in here, just like that. I don't want to overlap it too much, but there we go, bam. So we're gonna have like this weird empty space here in the middle, but it's no big deal. All right, there we go. Now, what I will do is Let's plop some parking spaces, just like any other North American style city. Provide parking for the track and field. Awesome, there we go. Uh-oh, is the road connection gonna work? Yes, there we are. All right, so that does it for that. However, there's a bunch more parks that we could probably place. Uh, maybe a community pool would be a nice addition. Yeah, 
So let's do a community pool. And you can't have an American style college without a big old football field. So can we fit one over here? You know, I want there to be lots of parking for it. So I'm gonna put it in the back. Here's what I'll do. I'll put it adjacent to the highway. Just like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and let's have a big old parking lot. Yeah, let's have a huge parking lot. Bigger than the field itself. There we go, guys. Perfect. All right, wow, this is a big campus. I think this is the biggest campus in the city yet. Very cool. Uh, so let's check our capacity now, see how we're doing. And wow, to my surprise, we're like, we're good. For college now just with this one campus what's the capacity of this anyway uh oh 1500 okay i thought we were like way under capacity okay well um university it looks like we're gonna have to plop a second one um to uh to get over our capacity line but that's fine Yeah, it's not even filling up, so that's that's okay. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes here finalizing this campus, detailing it all up, and that will do it for this episode. But wow, the city has really grown. It's looking a lot better now, guys, with this new development. Look at that. It's just looking so much more realistic now with, uh, with all these row houses and apartment buildings. Much better transition from the downtown to, uh, you know out in the suburbs and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into time-lapse mode, guys, and I will put the finishing touches on our brand new college slash high school slash university slash whatever campus. Thanks. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the final product. Very nice. I'm actually really pleased with this campus. It's pretty simple. I didn't do too many... Uh, you know, detailing things to it, um, just some basic paths and trees and whatever. But, you know, from afar, it still looks really, really good. I think it fits well into the rest of the city. So uh, right now in the game, it is uh, 1030. So just after rush hour. Um, and yeah, this is an absolute mess, guys. But I think there's a reason for it, because if I zoom all the way in here, Look at all these people who are walking. I just noticed this and I was like, okay, what the heck? Why are there so many people running around? It's absolute mayhem. Like, I think this is the biggest traffic jam I've ever seen in this game. We're like a quarter across the bridge and, uh, and it's just completely backed up. But look at all these people. Look at all these people walking along the bridge. And actually, if I follow these people going in the opposite direction, like, Look at this, like there's just hordes of people walking across the bridge from like who knows where, right? Um, so it's not until I actually clicked on a couple of people, I found out that they are actually running for their lives. Uh, so they are evacuating from something. I don't know what, uh, but if we check over here... <laughs> Look at this, guys. Everybody is running towards an emergency shelter. But it looks like the emergency has maybe passed because there's a lot of people walking back. But look at this, guys. There is hordes of people just wandering about the streets, heading to or from the emergency shelters. I don't even know. Uh, but it's causing mayhem. 
all over the city because look at these people here there's there's like a ton of people well not so much right now but like literally 30 seconds ago there was just a mob of people blocking traffic here like this is an absolute mess guys <laughs> oh my god but otherwise i think the interchange is functioning okay um i think there's just like a ton of people driving to the emergency shelter is you know why we're getting this much bottlenecking uh but i think overall it's it's gonna function okay uh but we'll see over time so um i think i'm gonna try to figure my stuff out guys i think we may have to place down some additional emergency shelters dotted around the entire map uh i am playing with disasters on so maybe there was like a big tornado that whipped its way through town and uh and people are just rushing to the only shelters on this entire map but what's going on over here? I'm noticing uh, some traffic. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It looks like some sort of natural disaster happened and, and it's just causing a bunch of mayhem. Oh my God, look at that. We got a big accident over here. Things are on fire. It is just a terrible day here in the greater Bixton region. Holy. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think in uh, the following episode, I am going to start expanding outwards in uh, in Auburn to, you know, make it a proper city because, uh, yeah, this, this map is still a work in progress, but it's getting pretty cool. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy the video, give it a like, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, and certainly don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future content. And with that, until the next episode, take care, everyone.